Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking at some of the clips and highlights and kills that we didn't really get to see because I had nowhere to put them. Uh, these are our clips and highlights and kills of moments in my on my old account uh, before it got banned from my stupidity. So these are some clips for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the clips. I'll talk through them a little bit. As here I was kind of looking and begging for a fight, kind of ran into him with my horse being so low. Uh, of course, he has, you know, friends and allies, it seems like, pretty early on here. Um, they try to help him uh, a little bit a little bit too late on that help, um, and I end up just kind of surviving for a little bit here and then dodge rolling and taking my escape on the left side. Um, and now we got ourselves another fight. Um, with this horse coming into play, I got a lot of damage down, locked him down, made him fight, uh, kind of forced him to fight here. I don't think he actually wanted to. He was trying to run. He got a lot of damage down to him real quick there, a big burst by me. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to catch him yet. Um, he throws in another poison arrow, does some damage over time on me. Um, but I lock him down. Unfortunately, he has the assassin jack and is able to go invis on me. Uh, while I was invis, I just kind of do some circles, um, trying to predict where he comes out of. And I use a dodge roll to get closer to him. My keeper cape activates. I get onto this man pretty quickly with my W and then execute. Um, Blood letter is a lot of fun, um, like you guys know. Uh, here we got some 2v2 Hellgates. Um, we're going to be doing a build that's just going to shred this healer. Um, they just tried to kind of out heal, which is going to be a problem. Uh, one way to counter a bow build that's an attack speed build is to run at them. If you cancel them while they're doing their attack speed by running at them with fear, you're going to cancel a lot of their damage. Obviously, you were able to see how much damage the, uh, you know, the build can really actually do if nobody gets in your way. Um, and the Morgana Cape plus all of the attack speed uh, with the regular bow and, you know, everything added up together. It's just going to do a lot, a lot of damage. So that's why we were able to burst in there as Padme's defense gets uh, up in front of this man and puts him into a corner. And then you'll see the damage come out here with the auto attacks. So a lot of auto attack damage, and you're going to love that. It's a lot of fun. Um, but let's get looking into the next clip. So here we got a gank. We're going to try to gank this gatherer or, um, you know, pick him off. Uh, we saw him right there that he was running down the road. So I didn't at this point know he was a gatherer. I was just thinking, hey, let's cut him off. Let's go to the back bottom or the bottom left side. Let's go to the southwest side uh, gate at least and try to go with the specter boots. So I got my specter boots out um, and you're going to see that I pop him right here at the road and walk up the road trying to find him. It's a 16 second invisibility. Um, so you have to go, um, you know, you have to find them in 16 seconds, but you know, it's just a very busted shoe and you're able to get right up next to him. Like I just did, uh, this gatherer had no idea what was coming. I get a lot of damage down. This is with low spec on the claws and my daggers are probably about 80, 85, but my claws are maybe about 25, uh, or 30 maybe. So really not too crazy high on the spec. But it works well for ganking, and you're going to be able to see that here as we do get this gatherer kill. And we get some T6 loot um, and some ore and things. So let's go look at another gathering kill. Um, here we got a an ox player. This guy must have been so shocked because he basically didn't play for the second here. He wanted his wood so bad. I don't know if he knew he was going to get or thought he was going to get away or what. But um, he realized pretty late, and he got punished for it. Um, these are some red zone kills, so that might be the issue here with the skill of uh, the players and their escapes. But those were two red zone gatherer kills, and we're going to go back to the black zone like we were for the, pre uh, the beginning kills. Um, we got this guy with the claymore coming off of his um, coming off his horse pretty early. Claymore does do a lot of damage. He throws an early poison. Um, I had an alliance member there. I thought, you know, he's probably going to help me. Um, you're going to notice here he actually doesn't help me. Um, which, you know, it works out fine for me, but just watch this alliance member real quick. He runs in there. He is yet to attack. He's still running around in circles. He's yet to attack. I mount up. Watch what he does. He throws away a wave of light. Does not auto yet. And he's walking away from the scene. He's out of there. Um, as I get back onto this man with the Shadow's Edge and get the Claws back in action for the last little bit, I do end up killing him, um, and that's going to be the end of those. Uh, but this is going to be a little sneak peek, guys. I am coming at you guys with a Zero to Hero series coming soon. Um, you know, I 
I'm not actually currently going uh, and making that character right now. This is a previous clip, just kind of you know getting you guys on your as your seats, kind of trying to figure out what build I should really go for the new character. Most likely, um, and it won't be an Iron Man account. I made that Iron graphic, thinking you know that's the way I was going to go at that point in time when I was making this clip. Um, but I will actually be making a new account and starting from scratch. Um, just like you see here, we're going to go through the tutorial island, um, and we're going to probably go with something like daggers based on the pull results everyone loves daggers and it's a lot of fun it has a lot of um, a lot of things you can do with daggers just a lot of you know unique things that you can do what you can't do with other you know builds but don't worry I will be going a ZVZ build as a secondary build um, which will most likely be a tank ZVZ shot caller um, and that's gonna be kind of the build and setup I'm gonna be trying to run is a dagger primary um, with a tank at the kind of, you know, practicing up with the tank build. Um, but that's something I will probably try to be doing um, with the next, uh, you know, Sierra to Hero series when it starts up. That's basically the idea behind it is I will be trying to get a daggers build and kind of show you guys, you know, how do you get um, everything from free to play to, you know, becoming a rich man with, you know, crazy spec. How does that happen? Um, you know, this account... Before I got it banned, my uh, my regular graphic account uh, was probably two months old, and you know I had a hundred mastery and a couple different things. I had a lot of silver. I had a lot of um, property. I had my my island was all the way built up. I had good spec, you know. So we're gonna kind of show everybody how to go about doing that on their new account or you know their their current account. So I hope you guys stick around for that series. It's gonna be coming out soon. Um, I do have to actually make the account yet. Um, I'm just I'm just kind of, you know, letting everything rest and chill out for a little bit as, you know, that previous mistake happened. I'm trying to get all of my, you know, my content using that account out of, uh, you know, out of sight, trying to get all that, you know, content that's stuck in my folders um, out of here. So before, you know, I start fresh and get on my new account uh, and have a lot of content made on that new account. But thanks for tuning in, guys, today. Hopefully all that made sense. I kind of just rambled for a second there because of how excited I am. Uh, to get right back into a noob, um, a noob to a hero, or not a noob to a hero, but a zero to hero series. Um, thanks again for tuning in, like I just said, and I'll see you guys next time.